What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to the December 2020's edition of the Server Update Tour. So this month I want to kick things off by showing you guys a new town, so let's get straight into that. Okay, so you find me here in the first town on the tour this week. This is Stow Hill. It's a Belgium name, I'm absolutely butchering it, I know that much for a fact, I can barely even spell it. But this is the town of our newest builder, Ozzy. So he is building a beautiful Flemish inspired town. So let's take a little look around this place and my god it's beautiful. Look at that, you can see some nice Dutch Flemish gables over there. Very interesting use of orange sandstone for the roof. Now I'm noticing a lot of good boys just sitting around here. Hello, how are you doing? So he's done... Oh wow, he's kitted out the interiors. God, you took me there. Took me by surprise. We've got some lovely sort of stuff over here on the counters, but this is beautiful. Oh my god, okay, I actually am speechless. I didn't expect that. I just sort of walked up to it and went, wow, that's done the inside as well. So Ozzy, welcome to the team. You've uh, yeah, you've definitely been improving in our Discord and we've seen all your stuff over the last couple of months there. And oh, hello. So this is the church you built as well, which is a lovely Gothic church. And you've really, really done a good job there with the roof. Uh, I see it's quite inspired by my one I've done in my recent Bricks to Blocks video. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, go check that out. Great video about me building a church. That is a horrible plug. Why did I do that? <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, go check that one out. But still, this is a gorgeous brick church. I love the use of dirt. Now, when we had you as an applicant, I remember seeing the church you built over in your world, and that also had dirt mixed in there with some terracotta and also some brick. It's a really, really interesting way of doing it. Now, still, I can't wait to see what you bring to this place because there is more to come, is there not? Um, I have actually seen on the map, if we head on over this way towards the sea, we'll get an idea of what I mean by that. So he's actually added a beach, but not just any beach, you know, a fully gradiented beach goes from lovely white sand using sandstone and all of that all the way through to a nice brown color out here and yeah i've never seen someone do this the so last month i was like praising carter for his one over on their competition build but this time just look at it it is incredible so ozzy again welcome to the team stow hill is really coming together and i cannot wait to see where you're going to take this now you've inspired me to have a go at some diagonal builds and I haven't actually started them yet, but what I have done is I've started building some more of Wolhampton's High Street. So let's go take a look at that. So you find me here at the main junction between the Avenue and the High Street in Wolhampton. We've been here before in the past. I built all of this as part of a Let's Build Wolhampton episode and toured it with Jamie. Now, what I have been doing recently is trying to get my head around changing up this part of Wolhampton into something a bit better. And this is what I've come up with, a plan, a plan to build an entire high street. So what I've done is I've looked back at the Leamington map, looked back at my original inspiration and gone, you know what, it's time to put in some iconic buildings from Leamington and start getting this place looking a bit more realistic. So you can see here, I've gone for quite a nice selection of diagonal buildings following the curvature of this road. For me, it's gonna be a really good attempt at getting some diagonals in because I haven't done much of them in the past and I'm really itching to try them out. So this building here, this one right here as we stand and look at it, is going to be the Angel Inn. Now, this is a coaching inn in Lymington from about the 16th century onwards, and it's one of those iconic buildings. It's the main pub in the centre of town, so I cannot wait to get that one in the world as well. But you may notice as well, I've added a couple of buildings down here. So this is the Belmore Lane House, or Belmore House, and this is just a large Georgian uh, terraced house, well, more townhouse, and it's got this small little servant's quarters house next door to it, which I think looks quite cute and interesting. So that's using a mixture of white concrete powder and also some white wool there for the walls. I've made a little nice garden in there as well. But this sort of house just definitely rings true with sitting here looking just like the real life version of it that I copied from Lymington. Now what we've got going over here is not a garage. So these houses, definitely large Georgian houses, would have had stable houses or coach houses sitting there. So you can park up your horse and car or if someone's coming to visit you, they can leave it here for the night or whatnot. Now what we've got going on here is just an entrance into a backyard area. So these are going to be some shops there. And these are going to have like backyard area so you can get in there, park up your horse and cart again, take deliveries out, do what, what. You know what, that's just a little bit of town planning that you guys request quite heavily. So I thought I'd give you a little idea about that. Ignore the, um, yeah, ignore the hole in the roof. But if we go on down here, you can see I've built a few little workers' cottages, just some cottages along here, directly opposite these large townhouses. But this 
actually brings the avenue up to being nearly finished. So it carries on all the way up there to King Square, which we built and showed off quite a while ago now. But this road is one of the most complete roads in Wolverhampton, and that is bringing a proper smile to my face. So as most of you know, Wolverhampton is wrapping up, so I really want to get this part done. Yes, there was talks of doing a school. Yes, there was talks of doing a workhouse and that. That's still going to go ahead, and it should be included in the final episode. But this is the main part, the main meat of the episode, so I can't wait to get this one out to you guys. Now, speaking of meat, that's not a great... No, we're not doing that. But anyway, let's go to Hogger Dam and see what the guys have been up to over there. Yes, I say guys, we've got a couple of builders over there now, so let's go. So here we are back in Hogger Dam. So we came here last month to show off Duncan, which was our new builder. Now, out of, out of the blue, a, another builder came on who I used to build with about five years ago. TM has joined us, and my god, you guys have been super busy. Mm, oh, just breathe it all in. Oh my god. So you two have been building your Amsterdam inspired town here of Hogger Dam. And the building I can spy straight away over there in the background is TM's own building of, what is it, the Magna Plaza, which is one of these main buildings in Amsterdam. Now, he started this about five years ago on my old server, on the old WBC world that we used to have. And I managed to keep it and brought it back over onto this one as just a schematic. And from that, uh, Duncan and TM have been actually turning it into what it should be like using the new blocks and the new techniques that the game now has to offer and oh my god it is absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to see where you take this town because honestly guys you two have been an absolutely driving force behind the server lately and it is amazing to have such talented builders on and just to be able to bring this caliber of work to the game and uh yeah don't look at the backs of these buildings but it is just incredible. Even the detailings you've done in the canals around here is just perfect. What what, what, what is that? Oh no, it's the Dutch, the Dutch Orange Fleet has come. And oh, we've got some podders going on and some windmills. Oh my god, guys, I, I, I haven't actually been here. I've been putting it off so I can save it for the tour. But honestly, so I think this is built by Adam who was building uh, Kingsbury. Uh, and this place, wow, this boat is just incredible. we got some, some heads up there. What's going on there? But still look at this so it's a dutch vessel i imagine it's probably part of the uh dutch east indies company but still that is really cool like really cool i don't do much boats and i think that does look proper epic so you can see behind me actually there this is what's known as a podder i think and it's the defensive sea uh, sort of walls that they build in the netherlands to try and keep the sea out because obviously as you guys know the netherlands is underwater pretty much so that's one of those things there but what have we got going on over here so we've got more canals we've got the railway bridge going over the canal which seems to have these nice supports across it oh i think it's a swing bridge which is just incredible oh and it might actually be signalings or something but still the atmosphere around here is great we've got a diagonal bridge here and these always always make me smile because that looks so good especially put out the prismarine blocks there as well so this is definitely one to watch for next month and I know I said that last month and it was really came true I'm just in love with this place oh there's the Magna Plaza coming back in again but still even buildings just like this who are you ah we have someone looking around this is wait is that limbo I don't know who that is but still you guys have been building some incredible stuff this this just takes my fancy I love it when people use wood as a sort of nice stone effect on there always always good how many <laughs> so it's like three blocks back for windows still so hogger dam really is a place to be and what an incredible incredible town you guys are building right well speaking of incredible towns it's time to go up to brennis which is limbo's town he's been building it for a couple of months now uh, and it's actually incredible again so let's go take a look at that so we're back here again in Brennis, Limbo's Towns I just mentioned. This is just one of these masterpieces. It's the Balkans inspired town and all I can say every time I come here is just I'm awestruck. So originally there was a big church here in the centre and that is now moved over to make way for just more and more townhouses and awesome looking buildings. What I have spied over here actually though is what looks like a cathedral slash church. I think we showed this off last month or the month before. It was further over that way by the sea but now he's moved it into the central sort of square and you've got all these tram lines going around just making it feel so alive but this place I wanted to come around and see it because I saw it on the map recently and I love the texturing you've done with the walls. 
there is just something about texturing white walls like this that really really makes me happy now you're still working on a lot of the town i can see that but still what you have built so far is inspirational like to me diagonals just don't come naturally as you saw in Wolhampton, i've been trying my best to have a go at them but these this is incredible a boulevard covered with just life oozing from every orifice that is a horrible thought but still look at this place so we're going to come down this way towards the opera house we've been here in one of the previous tours as well but i'm just in love with these little candles as well so you've made those using end sticks and just lanterns and yeah that is really really nice little detail take note of that one guys if you're looking for a street lamp but still the rest of the town is really coming together i know we went to the train station last time up there i'm not sure too much has gone on that way but I'm going to come around the back here of this and I think, yeah, look at that. So he's building a palace and I must say this is absolutely incredible. So I love these little onion sort of roofs you've got going on here. But the texture, it's the texturing you always do so well. The way it rises up between the, the sort of the browns all the way up to the whites at the top. Really, really need to learn how to do this myself. I like what you've done there actually with birch fence gates for the sort of column capitals. I think that looks really good, especially at this scale. So guys, this is always one to watch. So next month, I'll try and, I'll try and come back and see what's happening. Wow, it's like a nice little park lodge house. But the detail in it, the texturing in it, the chickens in it. What, what are you doing over there? But still, this place is incredible. So what he has done here, and this is like a little trade secret, he's used different biomes in order to change the texture and color of the leaves. So these leaves are still just oak leaves, but the reason they look like this is because the biome has been changed just on that block. But you can see here, it's been changed on the ground as well. Now this gives you so many more different colors and textures you can use for trees. I did it when I built my, um, my haunted mansion last month. And this is definitely one of those techniques that should be used more and more. The same with using diorite walls and birch fence gates and fences inside trees as well. I think that is just one of those amazing things to do. Oh my god, every time I turn around a corner I just come up against something else. This is like a little chapel or something. There is so much going on here and I cannot wait to see what this town looks like. I need to drag Jamie around here at some point and give it a proper proper look over so guys that has been limbo's town of Prennis. it's time for us to jump over to highbury and see what's been going on over there so you find me wandering around some bushes here in highbury you know one of my pastimes is mainly wandering around bushes in highbury but we won't talk about that too much what we will talk about is the beach down here so there seems to be a passion i don't know what it is because it's winter at the moment I mean, this is December after all, but there is a passion for texturing the beaches at the moment. So Carter has been over here and helped Lance around sort of getting some nice life and texture into this sea. Uh, I know we showed off the one over in Stow Hill, but this one again is just really, really good. So if you guys are looking for any inspiration on how to do that, then even just look on the dynamic map, you're going to see the texturing going on there because it's actually seen from space. But we've been here before, we've seen quite a lot of hybrid. I am just looking at all the trees. I think Lance has been quite busy placing trees down and just making this place feel beautiful, which, you know, custom trees really do help. So we use a schematic pack that has loads of trees in it. Uh, I believe it's probably from about five, maybe even 10 years ago. I downloaded it for my old server. So it's a case of, I need to find the link for that and I'll share it with you guys so you get an idea of where we get our trees from. But this is beautiful. Wow, I haven't seen this before. Although I think this might be the vicarage. Oh, it's the Royal Fort Hospital. Okay, anything inside? Nope. Oh, no, I need to go to see a doctor now. Oh, God, I can't get out this door. Right, while I try and attempt to get out this door, let's um let's go have a look at another town. So I think some work's been going on in Ansebury, which has now had its name changed to Gansbury or Gansberg. So let's go see what's happening over there. Yes, this is Goose's town. Yes, it's more German stuff. So let's go see. Hello, welcome to Gunsberg. So this, or Gansberg even, I'm terrible with names. This is Goose's town. Um, and this is meant to be where Ansebury was, but something's happened. And there is now some gigantic buildings here of just a German origin. So if I take a look at this, as we move out from it, this is meant to be the beer hall in Munich, I think, or at least some Bavarian town. And I can't even get far enough back to look at it. There's stupid buildings in the way, but it is absolutely incredible. I have never seen Gothic architecture built so well. I mean, we all know what Goose does. He built an entire cathedral for a, 
a, a server competition. But this is just absolutely gobsmacking. I'm struggling to find the words today for a lot of things, and this is definitely filling me with fear. Uh, I love it. I think the colour palette works so well. The little bits of greenery are along the front there. I know I've seen the reference picture and how that looks, and I think it is just chef's kiss. Amazing. Flying buttresses as well. What is going on in this place? There is just so many gothic notes to it. Now, speaking of this, we've got so much more going on around here as well. I really like what you've done here. These are two like gate buildings down the one on the main roads. Uh, I can't remember which town they're from. They may be from Vienna or something like that. I think they are from an Austrian town. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments below. But the rest of this place is going to be incredible once you get it going properly, Goose. I can't wait to see. Now, I know we employed you. Employed. I know we took you on with the idea of building some sort of English town. And behind me there is the train station that you once built for Anserbury. But never mind. What you've done with village of um, New Schwanstein was perfect. And what you've done with this place is just mind-blowing. So guys, again, this is one to watch. We come back here next month and this place is going to be filled with life and more buildings. So it's time to jump on over to a little church I've built and show you guys a bit more about that. So you're probably sick of me showing you this church by now. But here's this church that I built using uh, my bricks to blocks technique that I have been championing lately, my new series. I love it. I actually adore this church. Now, if you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. I don't know why I keep plugging it. Stop plugging my own videos. But it actually, I, I even drove up to this place to go see it. It's a real life church in a town, well, a small village called Sherfield English. And I am really impressed with how it turned out. Now, we can't see it really because of the way the shades are set up at the second. But if we come round the back here to the rear and just take a look at this tower it's a very strange one it's like a sort of medieval turret on top of a brick church and there was something that captivated me to build it and I, i'm really really happy with how it turned out so i did a little landscaping around here as well it's sitting on the Bewley canal so this is actually if i take a look to my right over here this is where bly manor is so it fits the theme it fits the style of this area so i thought i might as well bring it over and plonk it next door so we've got this nice sort of garden in between the church and that now what this also gave me a chance to do was have a go at putting some fields in so you can see loading in there a lovely wheat field that is just 100 percent covered in wheat there are a few holes but nothing else and this was done using weld edit none of this is irrigated so it's all looking a bit dark, dry and horrible under there but still i'm really really happy with how this turned out let's jump away from this church which we just can't stop looking at i say we it's more just me and go see what cast has been up to over in that place I cannot pronounce, but the Welsh town of Llewellynwood. Let's go. So you find me here in Llewellynwood, probably the last town for our server update tour this month. And yes, Carter, that is how you say it. No, I'm not Welsh, but still. Anyway, so let's have a look around and see what you've been up to. I know there is, ooh, some beautiful little craftsman houses. Now, this is a style that is very popular in North America. And Carter has obviously been building quite a lot of stuff in North America. So... This is the Canadian-inspired town now, rather than whatever it was meant to be originally. But I really like the cuteness of these. The colour palette and just everything going on with it is gorgeous. To be moved, yeah, I gather, but still. The Ferris residence. These, you could see these being on a street somewhere in America or in, in just North America. Canada, Canada or somewhere like that. But still, great, great stuff. So, if we move on over in this direction, there is some docks for us to go see. And here they are loading in. I mean, we haven't been here for ages, and there's an entire rail yard that Carter's been building. He is known as the train man on our server, and for good reason. I mean, look at these things. They are actually lifelike. And the way you've done all of these cars and that, this was actually floating, I think, in the sky last time. I'm just getting a really good picture, actually, of the train station. We didn't see that last time. I think that looks spot on. So, yeah, as I'm rambling along, let's come on round here to the rail yard and also not just that let's come around here to the naval yard so we've got some ships flowing over here i imagine there'll be some water here at some point but we've got like a coal dispensary and there's just everywhere is full of coal i'm surprised this building hasn't just got like black with the coal dust blowing around the place that might be a good little detail to put in but still i like what you've done with the place you've got these diagonal buildings going on and yes there it is the building i thought i was going to come in contact with this huge, huge hotel. Now, I can't remember which, which county or state it's in in Canada. I think it might be from Alberta. Don't uh, Please correct me if I'm wrong there, Carter, but still. It is a gothic beauty, and, well, it's probably more romanticised than it needs to be. 
but still it is beautiful absolutely gorgeous let's go take a look at it under this tunnel here i love tunnel hello let's go have a look under this tunnel and up through here round we go oh this brings you up to the train station really really nice but no still this is beautiful so i can see you're going to get a bit more landscaping on the go around here and you've been building it for ages and ages and ages and what you've done with it is gorgeous you've got all of the proper gothic notes to it uh, not just that it just feels really good so carter really nice stuff it's great to see you building the town some more because i know you've been a bit on and off with that it's not a jab at you but yeah they have been quite on and off of it but still i think this has turned out really well so i can't wait to see what you bring to the place and also just some more plouses these i think these craftsman houses are going to turn out really nicely once you get those dotted around the town so guys that has been december's server update tour i can't wait to show you what happens over in january but i just want to say a big thank you for sticking around for the last year this has been running now for about eight months this server update tour and i've really enjoyed doing them uh, showing you guys what's been happening with everyone and also just all of the ideas and sharing with you just some of the stuff that we've been doing so if you have any ideas on what we should do for this server update tour going into 2021 then please let me know in the comments below i'm always open to criticisms and also critiques and even ideas on what to do but guys remember get inspired get building and i'll see you next time goodbye